You've tried everything, but you can't keep your nitrates and phosphates down. Unsightly algae is running rapid and plaguing your prized coral collection. What can you do outside of costly chemicals and media? Is there any hope? A natural filtration method which uses algae to fight algae has been the secret to success for thousands of aquarium hobbyists. Today, we share that secret with you. We introduce a brand new solution for nutrient control from the engineers at Reef Octopus. Hello, this is Jeremy from Coralview. Welcome you back to another episode of CVTV. So, the kaleidoscope of color in your once flourishing reef tank is suddenly looking drab and monochromatic. Corals have turned brown and no longer grown rapidly. Searching for answers, you run the diagnostics by testing your calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, only to discover that they all are within ideal ranges. You check your temperature and your salinity next, but it's right where they should be. Your saltwater sleuthing leads you to suspect high nutrient levels may be the culprit. Further testing confirms it. Nitrates and phosphates are guilty of stealing your color from your corals. It's a fact. High levels of phosphates and nitrates curtail coral growth and coloration. Keeping these parameters under control is a constant battle and a common struggle many hobbyists share. Fish waste, rotting leftover food, and poor maintenance habits all contribute to the accumulation of nitrates and phosphates in an aquarium. Phosphates have a direct effect on coral growth by inhibiting the calcification process. The more phosphates, the less likely the coral will intake calcium carbonates from the water to build its calcareous structure. Nitrates stimulate the growth of zooxanthellae, which accounts for the darkening or browning of corals. To combat these contaminants, Reef Octopus developed a reactor that is purposely built to reduce phosphates and nitrates and prevent nuisance algae from wiping out your beloved coral garden. Unlike fast-acting chemical filtration or bacterial miracle cures, the Reef Octopus Light Reactor uses macroalgae to remove nutrients from your aquarium water. You heard that right, the solution to getting rid of algae is growing it. Although this sort of natural filtration method is trending in the hobby right now, it is a tried and true technique that savvy hobbyists have been practicing for quite some time by using something called a refugium. A well-run fuge is a great way to lower phosphates and nitrates. It's basically just a place or space you can grow specific types of macroalgae like Chetomorpha that takes in nutrients from your aquarium water. Once a macroalgae is so voluminous it fills your fuge, you harvest it by removing the sizable portion, thereby removing the contaminants it absorbed to fuel its growth. Refugiums can be a hassle though. They are intake versions, hang on models, however the most effective ones are quite large. So a sump is generally required if you really want to make a dent in your nutrient levels. Beyond just occupying a lot of real estate, a refugium can make your sump messy. A sump also isn't as efficient at directing flow and light to your macroalgae. An algae reactor, on the other hand, like the light reactor from Reef Octopus, has the same sort of nutrient reduction capabilities as a refugium, only it can accomplish them using less space and greater efficiency. And, like a refugium, an algae reactor can be a haven for beneficial zooplankton. All oceans, lakes, and rivers are filtered by algae. Isn't it time you take advantage of this natural filtration method to keep your aquarium clean and healthy? Before we get into assembly and installation of the light reactor, let's take a closer look at what makes it safer and more effective than do-it-yourself reactors you see on online forums and Facebook groups. First and foremost is the reactor's unique triangular IP67 certified waterproof LED light strip with a special spectral range ideal for growing algae. It runs down the entire length of the reactor and sits smack dab in the center of it. The light reactor's LED strip is submerged inside the unit itself. Your Chetomorpha is bathed in three specific color spectrums from 360 degrees for maximum growth and nutrient consumption. 
The close proximity of the LED strip to the macroalgae ensures no light or power is wasted in your quest to remove harmful nutrients. The light reactor is available in two models. The Reef Octopus LR150, which is a 6 inch diameter body for aquariums up to 160 gallons. It has a compact 8 by 9 inch footprint and has a total height of 20 inches. Sports 20 watts of LED light and comes with the 340 gallon per hour Aquatrans 1200 feed pump. The Reef Octopus LR200 which is an 8 inch diameter body for aquariums up to 260 gallons. It has a footprint of 10.5 by 11 and quarter with a total height of 20 inches. Sports 20 watts of LED light and comes equipped with the 580 gallon per hour Aquatrans 2000 feed pump. To begin installation, we must make sure that everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. Most of the reactor comes assembled, excluding the power adapter, elbow with o-ring, and plumbing adapter fittings. Before installing the reactor in the sump or cabinet, remove the lid by loosening the thumb screws along the perimeter and slightly rotating the lid counterclockwise and lift straight up. Make sure you clear the full length of the LED tube when removing the lid. With the lid removed, the central three-tier cultivation station can be lifted out. For easy handling, each tier has resting clips that can be used to hold the plates in position for easy harvesting. Place the macroalgae within each section. For our installation, we are using Chetomorpha because unlike other macroalgae, they contain no toxic compounds or coloring agents. Its fast growth and compact tubular shape make an ideal solution for the light reactor. With the O-ring positioned properly, return the lid with the LED strip and carefully insert the LED into the center channel. Make sure that there is no algae between the cover and the O-ring as it can cause the seal to fail. Rotate the lid clockwise and lock it in position by tightening each of the thumb screws along the perimeter of the lid. The reactor can be installed within the sump or externally, but keep in mind that the reactor does require you to harvest the algae so location is key. You can choose to hard plumb the reactor and feed the pump directly with PVC or tubing with the occluded adapters. Only the adapter should be glued using PVC cement, especially when operating externally. Choosing a suitable place for the Aquatrans feed pump within the sump. Connect the output of the pump to the intake of the reactor using your desired form of connection. The output elbow should be installed with the included O-ring in place. Install the desired output connection and run it back to the sump or aquarium. We do suggest securing the plumbing lines to the sump or reactor. Once the reactor is installed, connect the LED supply to a timer or controller to control the reactor's photo period. Most users would benefit with the light turning on when the main display light turns off for the evening for a duration of 12 hours to help nightly pH swings. The pump should be plugged in and remain on 24-7. Be sure to check for leaks. Flow through the reactor can be controlled by the intake valve located at the bottom of the reactor. The flow should be regulated accordingly to accommodate the amount of macroalgae in the reactor and should increase as the amount of macroalgae grows. As the algae grows, it must be harvested regularly. On average, you can expect to harvest every three to four weeks depending on growth. To harvest, be sure to shut off the LED light and the feed pump prior to maintenance. We suggest that the reactor be fully disassembled yearly to remove any detritus and organic formations that block the flow within the reactor. The feed pumps should be removed two to three times a year for service. To see how, watch the service video in the link below. As reef hobbyists, we have one single job, maintaining water quality. That is the key to enjoying a tank full of happy and colorful corals. Well, that's our video for today. If you'd like to learn more about the Reef Octopus Light Reactor, including detailed specs and beautiful high quality pictures, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. 
Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.